it's another brew day. <laughs> Whoa! It's another, <laughs> I'm so used to doing that. That was like automatic. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! All right, here we are again. We're doing another day of visiting breweries. We're doing these breweries on the east side of Los Angeles, uh, Highland Park area, Eagle Rock area, and then we're gonna go over to Burbank and Gundale. Uh, there are more breweries south of us, a little north, a little east, but these are the, the core we're hitting right now. Uh, the first one we're gonna go to is Highland Park Brewery. It's probably one of our favorite breweries around they make insanely good beer. They are rather small. Uh, I think they have like a seven barrel system. It's also called the Hermosillo. Hermosillo is the bar, while Highland Park Brewery is attached to it. The bar itself has like a shuffleboard and they have like a ring toss game. Also, they also have really good wine usually. And it's one of the best wine spots you can go to actually outside of where she works in this side of town. There isn't much. They have really cool funky stuff. They have really cool uh, European old world new world stuff. So uh, yeah, we we go here a lot if we want to get a beer or just a glass of wine um, We have a lot of birthdays here, too. All right, so uh, here we go. I don't know This is the house beer called Refresh. I think it's just like a, an ale, like a blonde ale. And then this second one here is a, uh, it's supposed to be an unfiltered Hoppy Pilsner, but it looks pretty clear. And this is Hello LA. This is one of their uh, IPAs they do. They kind of rotate between like four or five like staples. That's one of them. And Big No-No is a Baltic Porter. They were out of a sour. They, like, they just kicked it. So unfortunately we can't taste that. Um, it was a wheat sour too. I've had it, it's great. It's solid, refreshing. Solid, refreshing. Really light, crisp. They're actually very similar, those two. This one has more of a bite. Yeah, that's a little hoppier, I think. This Hello LA, it's gonna be great. It's great. It's really good idea. It's good porter. So yeah, uh, that's it, it's great. We might get a glass of wine too, we'll see. Good, good wine list, like I said. Our next stop is Eagle Rock Brewery. They've been open for about seven years or so, eight years in that range. Probably the first, or one of the very first breweries I can think of in the uh, Los Angeles area. Yeah, that includes downtown Los Angeles. Angel City was there maybe a little before, maybe one or two others, but uh, they're the first ones I can really think of. They were before the Highland Park. Side, yeah. yeah, for the east side of Los Angeles, they were one of the first ones. They just expanded their menu though, and I'm kind of excited to see what they have. Uh, last time I was here was about six months ago, and it's some really cool new stuff on tap. So yeah, I'm excited. So it's the IPA, it's called Populist. This is the uh, Ginger Saison. Uh, this is an English bitter on nitro, and this is a gosa. Still the same, so it's fantastic. They actually got a little better along the way, I thought. They started off like, okay, and then that they improved that a little bit. I don't think they had to do hops, or they changed their way of doing it, but it's really good. Ginger Saison. It's not bad. Can we use a hair more ginger? I don't know though, it's pretty solid though. A ginger fits well with that profile. Oh, I like that. So it's refreshing. It's the English bitter. Reminds me, that reminds me of Scotland. Is this what beers in Scotland taste yeah, like? It's, yeah, a little less bitter though. Or less hoppy, I should say. Were there a lot of them on nitro? Um, there were some, but it was more creamy. I like Everything was very creamy, yeah. That's a go set. Which, to be honest, could be a little more sour, but that's Americanized goes as a very sour. This is probably more closer to how Germans are. I had a, I had a Gosa once that was from Germany and it was like this. Page probably around 4, not 3.5 or lower as we like it here. But uh, the rest of it's fine. Um, I like it. 
Yeah. There might be something added to that. I didn't see it on the menu. But they add like fruit or like citrus or anything. Yeah, I think my favorite is it's obviously the, the, probably the pie list, but this ginger saison is actually really solid. Good brewery, uh, really good stuff. If you're in East Los Angeles, definitely check them out. Obviously, any breweries we're mentioning here in this video, just go check them all out. They're all great. There are two other breweries here that we're not going to go to. One, Pacific Plate. They are a tasting room, but the brewery is in Monrovia. In Monrovia, for those who don't know, is about 30 minutes with no traffic east of where we are. Uh, and their tasting room is good, uh, but we just chose these four today because that's what we chose. So another brewery that we we're not going to go to today, it's called Frogtown. They are in the Los Angeles area, down the east side of Los Angeles. But I ended up getting some gorilla footage of uh, on my iPhone when we were there recently. So uh, I'll show some of the footage now. Why not? Next one we're gonna not go to is Golden Road. For those who are privy to the beer scene, the beer world, I'm sure you've heard their name. They are probably the biggest brewery in the Los Angeles area. They're probably the most controversial brewery in Los Angeles area. They sold to AB InBev, I think. Or is it Miller? It's one of those big they sold ones. AB InBev. AB and ever since then, it's left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. Uh, their beer isn't that bad. Uh, it's it's pretty good, but we're not gonna do it on this trip. It's not for any other reasons than we just chose a, kind of our favorites. But I will give them this: their outdoor area is really good. <laughs> it's they have some pretty good pub food, and if you want to just hang out for the afternoon and drink some beer, we've been there a hundred times. We can walk there, uh, but we're just not gonna go there. But we are gonna pass it. <laughs> There it is by train tracks. It's still going. Oh, there it's still going. It's still going. We are now going to Verdugo West. I want to say they opened up around January sometime uh, this year. Maybe February? Somewhere around then. Uh, so yeah, the, the good beer. Uh, I think one of the brewers they got, or I think the head brewer they got, is from Smog City, I want to say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they came out of the gate with some good stuff. Okay, so here we have a peach sour, a hoppy amber, a double IPA, and an oatmeal stout. Let's taste them. Solid as usual. Wow, I love that. Have you had it before? I can't remember. I've you haven't had, had it? That. This peach sour is incredible. It's so good. So the hoppy amber. What do you think? Have you had the hoppy I like amber? It. No, I haven't had any of these, really, except for an IPA once. You been here once? Became, yeah. Wow. We came at the end of closing once. That's right. Double IPA. I think it's a one off they're doing called Hoppy 30th for the brewer's 30th birthday. That's good. It's not sweet. It's not sweet at all. It's really dry. It's got hops in it. I had it a couple weeks ago and actually I think it's gotten a little better. It's, cleaned it's up really a good. More. Yeah. Oatmeal stout. Really nice. Really well rounded. Ooh, good roast on that. Really good. Balance is good on the roast. I think it's not too harsh. Uh, what's your favorite, would you say? Oh, that's actually really hard in this batch. Probably the sour and the double. Yeah, those are my two favorites. That's usually what I get here. But I'll mix up the hoppy amber sometimes. They have a rice lager, it's good. And every Friday they have a cask night and I'll do like dry hops with one of these or fruit in one of them and stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, on to the next one. Now we're on to Brew Yard. Brew Yard, I have been there a lot. I have talked about it in some of my brew videos. I have actually brewed with some of their yeast before that they've given me. Thank you guys. Uh, so yeah, that's our last stop and uh, pumped. So here we have 
that are Juicy Lies IPA. Uh, this is a smoking redhead. This is a smoked red ale. Uh, this is a Black Sunrise on Nitro. Black Sunrise is a dark lager, basically, or I guess they're stout, essentially. And a Castle Pajamas, which is a Dubal. And they mostly make like ale lagers. So they do like a common yeast, ferment a little on the warm side, meaning they're not doing like 55 degree fermentation. They also have a Saison strain they use too. And they might have one other one, but I don't, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, let's give it a taste here. So they have a couple other IPAs too, or IPLs. One is called the Imposter Syndrome, and the other is the Perky Dipple. And Perky Dipple is a double IPA. And it should see. This Juicy IPA, Juicy Lies IPA, is uh, one of the newer ones. It's sort of like a, a one-off, I think. I think it's a one-off. Really solid, really well balanced. Um, yeah, really, really delightful, really easy drinking. Smoking Redhead. Yeah, it's always, it's one of my favorites. I love smoked beer. It's almost like a Rausch beer, basically. And kind of a similar color. Sort of that, like, reddish hue sort of look to it. The smoke level I like a lot. Uh, it's almost like a bacony sort of like barbecue, barbecue, barbecue beef. beef. Yeah, it's be great with like any barbecue actually. Like a nice steak or like wings or something. That'd be really cool. This on nitro is really good. It's really creamy usually. Yeah, it's really, really, really smooth. Almost like a, like a, like a nice chocolatiness to it. Not roasty, more chocolatey yeah, than roasty. Yeah, more chocolatey than roasty, and just like very smooth, easy drinking. Yeah, a Dubal. It's good, it doesn't have that like sweetness that a Dubal snap sometimes for me. It's drier. It uh, has more of like a, less phenolic than other Dubals I've had. It does have not like apple, but like apple pie maybe. Yeah, apple pie, yeah. Like a cinnamony. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this, they do make a cinnamon maple beer. That's on tap right now, I didn't get it. But it almost has like that like maple-y sort of cinnamony thing going on. Yeah, it's really solid. One of the workers here, Mike, he was saying that he would like to do like a breakfast fight once. And you have your smoking redhead instead of the bacon. Uh, you have your, what was it, the Black Sunrise for your coffee. Uh, he had a, they have a maple bacon beer on, oh, they have a maple cinnamon beer on top right now. So that will be included too. You have that white basically, you just have some eggs. And like that's your like, like extras. Yeah. yeah, condiments extras to the breakfast. Sounds like a great idea. It's a very solid beer all around. Uh, the guys are great, great atmosphere, great brewery. If ever decide town, go check them out. It goes for everything else too in this area. Uh, yeah, I think that's it.